Hey guys, welcome back to Ganshi Plans. Um, hopefully everything is working out okay. I moved my uh, recording setup to a different side of my desk. So hopefully you won't notice any different, um, but we'll see. So apologies if there's any teething pains. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, the latest insert release from August, 2022. This is called the List Sprint Calculator. And today I wanted to show you how I use this what it's designed to do um, and how you can use this method, whether or not you buy my, my insert, you could do this with just a piece of paper, um, but this just makes it a little bit easier and quicker to set up. Um, and this is gonna show you how you can get through a, uh, a to-do list in record time, how you can stay motivated. Um, this works really great for a to-do list where everything on the list is roughly equal sections. Um, they don't have to be exact, and a lot of these are not exactly the same amount of work for each one. Um, you can always vary it and do like different things, like include, um, you know, desk tasks and tidying around the house tasks to kind of change things up. That also helps you stay motivated. But basically, the very first thing you want to do is make your list. I have started out today with a list of everything that I want to get done today. I'm taking um, a day off of work so that I can do some content creation stuff um, batched. And that's what I'm working on today. So that's what a lot of these tasks are. I'm working on the design itself, I'm filming this video, etc, etc. Um, and so some of these tasks are longer than others. Some of them are particularly short, but it all sort of evens out in the end because we're dealing with averages here. So what you want to do, uh, like I said, make the list. The idea here is so that you know how many tasks you actually have. You could always add things. It makes it easier if you have everything on there first so that you know that you have 15 things. That's because this insert has it pre-numbered. So it's easier if you can start here from number 15. So say we're going to do this list sprint. We're going to sit down. We're going to have a chunk of productivity time right so say right now i'm filming this at 11:40, and i would like to get all of these things done before 2 30 and then i have to go pick up my kids so we know that that gives us how many minutes well you're going to want to have to have a calculator here that's the only part of this that is not included in the actual printout um so you know that 11:40 to 2 30 is two hours and 50 minutes. So unless you know how to do this off the top of your head, that's going to be 170 minutes total. So that's the amount of time we have to work with here. And we have 15 items. So we're going to start the first item here at 1140. We have 170 minutes left divided by 15. is I like to round down just to make sure it works for me. 11 minutes to do the first thing. So that here is draft newsletter. I, I am cheating, I actually already got that done. But let's say that that takes us, let's say it takes us 15 minutes. We go over by a little bit. So we'll put 15 here as our actual time. That'll take us to 11.55. Now I'm, I'm spitballing, so this isn't exact anymore, um, obviously, but this is a demo. So say that takes us 15 minutes. We could put an X here. We could put an orange box because it's not too far over. We can, you know, color code how well we did. We can put an X. We can just put a check mark saying it's done. Doesn't matter how long it took, whatever. Next thing is we're going to start uh, the next task, straight on to the next task at 11.55, right? So that gives us... Let's see, we'll have uh, 170 minus 15 would be 155, right? So we have 155 minutes divided by now 14 things. So that gives us, again, 11 minutes. Early on, you're going to have about the same amount of time for everything for pocket design. Say I do that quickly, and that only takes me 10 minutes. Awesome. One thing to note, like 
that's if you see that 11 minutes right off and you're like man everything on this task on this list is going to take me way more than 11 minutes on average then you're going to know okay maybe i've bitten off more than i can chew and i know that i have with this list even though i've already done three of these things i know that there's i'm not going to get to everything i just wanted to show you an example um so we did that uh took us 10 minutes then the next thing will start then at 1205 which means that we have a hundred and forty five minutes divided by 13 right so that's how you go and you just keep going basically you're going to update the amount of time you have left and then divide it by how many things you have left so that's just going to give you an idea of your rolling average as you go you'll be able to keep track of how quickly you got things done um and then hopefully this number will go up and up and up as you get things done under your time budget um, and then that will be motivating otherwise you just kind of have an idea of how quickly you have to work and or how many things you've got to cut off your list um, you can if you have all 28 things start at the top if you want you can cross these numbers off and do them yourself and and use it for more than whatever but um, I just thought it was easier to have the numbers already written there so that's one less thing you have to do that's just something behind the scenes on this design like I said you could use this checkbox for either like a check when you got it under time and an X if you didn't or just a check because you got it done at all or you could color code um, if, you know, try to get a lot of green boxes because you went under time. Yellow is like right on time and red would be way over budget. Um, and then if you can get everything done by the end of the time, that's great. If you can't, you just take whatever's left at the end of your, um, at the end of your time here and roll those tasks onto the next list. Do another chunk in the afternoon or the next day or whenever. This is a productivity method that I designed for myself to use at work at my office. Um, I had a lot of tasks that I would just do like the, the same thing for a customer, for multiple different customers. And I would have a list of like 10 of them. And I wanted to see how many I could get done in a, you know, the two hour window that I had before. Say I had to pump for milk for my baby or it was lunchtime or whatever it was. Um, and so it let me know how quickly I had to work on each one if I had to like really hustle and try to rush or if I was able to take more time and be more relaxed and more attentive to detail I was able to tell me if I had bitten off more than I could chew how much time I really reasonably needed to get everything done in that day um, or whether I was going to have to budget to have you know time to do it the next day so it's really great to be able to keep tabs of just like how long a task or a list of tasks is going to take you. And then also it really is motivating to not stop because it's so easy to get distracted. But um, if you know that you only have, you know, 10 minutes to do a thing or, you know, 15, a lot of the times you'll have a shorter list and more time and you'll be like, okay, I have 45 minutes. By the end of this list, I've got 45 minutes to do the thing. Like I'm going to kind of lollygag and I'm going to browse Facebook for a second before I move on to the next task. That's fine. But if you know that you only have 15 minutes, then that's going to be really motivating to try to get that green box or that check mark um, and get under budget so that the next task you'll have more time. Maybe if you hurry and do this task quickly, you'll have extra time to goof off after the next task. So that is what this list sprint calculator is for, how it works. Um, I hope that you found that uh, explanation to be helpful. I hope that you enjoy this concept and find this insert to be useful. It's available at my shop at gangeplans.com slash product slash 073. Uh, or if you just go to gangeplans.com slash shop, um, there will be a link in the description below as well. And you can check out this insert or again, you could just do this with paper. Um, as long as you just have a calculator, a pen and a list, you should be uh, able to use this method to keep yourself accountable and productive. And I hope that works for you. Have a great week and I'll see you uh, next Thursday if you subscribe. Bye.